everyone. Okay, today, do you know what day is today? Today is Friday. Friday is the Steam Kit Day. Everyone likes this, right? Every Friday night, uh, no, every Thursday night when Miss Hao uploads this on YouTube, Thursday night itself you do. You don't have to wait till Friday. So you really, really like this. Miss Hao is very, very happy. Okay, today we are going to do another Steam Kit. So what you got to do is to take out this box, you open and you are going to take out, you are going to take out this one, you are going to take out this one. Okay, this is the one with the red base on it and you can see the long stick here, also red color. So what are we going to learn today? Today we are going to learn magnetic polarity. Okay, I'm going to teach you that magnets got north South. Okay, so before we go into uh, the learning, I'm going to attach a video. What you do is you see the video, try to do it yourself. This one might be a little bit hard. Maybe you can ask mommy to help you if you don't know. If not, you can ask daddy or you can try to do it yourself. Okay, so you see the video and after this, we'll come back with more experiments. Okay, see you soon. We are back. Did you find it difficult to assemble this? Did you ask mommy and daddy to help you or did you do it by yourself? Anyway, good job. Everyone is back with this. Okay, did you notice that in your kit there are a few magnets like this? Okay, if you see the magnet has blue and red side, right? So can you see the blue and the red? Now, if you see properly, there are letters on the blue and the red side. The red side, okay, actually says an N word, right? And the blue side actually has the S word. So, red is N, blue is S. Now, do you know what is the meaning of the N and the blue and the, and the S? What is the meaning of N and S? N stands for North. And S stands for South. So in every magnet, there is a North side and a South side. So the North and the South, okay, it attracts differently. So if you have the North and the North put together, it will not stick. If you have the South and the South together, it won't stick. You must have the north and the south to stick together, then it will stick. Okay, what do I mean by that? Okay, let us look at this one. So Miss Hao have already tied here. You see, this is a magnet, the blue and the red. Remember, the red is actually the north, the blue is actually the south. So, I said that the north and the north do not stick, right? So, you take this one, this one, 
and then you try to put the red this is the north and this is the north you try to put two together and try to stick it okay just try to do it like this you see ah you you try it it, it just would not stick you see it won't stick here so it won't stick see it won't stick right so same goes with south blue and blue it will not stick you no matter how you try to join that it won't stick but if you put the blue and the red together ha ah, immediately it stick can you see immediately it stick can you see ah. so let's do it one more time if i put this one ah look it sticks to the south right so the north will stick to the south let's if i change it i change to the south and you see which part it will stick ha ah, the red one so blue and blue won't stick, red and red won't stick, but red and blue will stick. So which means the north and the south it will stick. Okay, so every magnet has the same thing. Okay, every magnet has the same thing. So now let me put an experiment. Let me put a compass. This is a compass. Okay, this is a compass. Now the compass has magnetic needle inside. Okay, if you can see the, the compass shows the direction. You have north, you have south, you have west, you have east. So if I put it under this thing, what it will do is, what it will do is the compass, the magnet will follow or the compass needle will follow the magnet. Okay, so let's put it down here and see. Okay, so you see that the, this thing is turning. Can you see that the, magnet, the compass is turning? Can you see it? Can you catch it? You see? Now, why is it turning? Because it is following the magnet. So it is following the north. This red part here is the north. And you see, because the magnet is moving, the north the magnet showing the north is also moving. It is trying to move to the north. Okay, it is trying to move to the north. Right, so, and the south will follow the south. The blue color will, will follow the south. Okay, next, what I want you to do is you put, take out that thing there, just now the magnet, the one you tie, and you take hold the magnet like this. You take this, this magnet right there's a north here right the n and the s which is the south so if you put it on the magnet say i want to put here uh, see where the end move this is the end can you see the end you see where the end move Ta -da! immediately it goes to the red color so if i change this and i put to the south Ta -da! can you see the south will follow the s can you see the s Yes, right? Okay, now you see, huh? it's like a magic. I put N again. ta -da! And you see? And what happened if I move the N? Can you see that the... Can you see that the N also follows the magnet to move around? Uh, can you see? It's like magic, right? I don't even have to move. And the, the compass magnet will follow me. So you can play it with yourself. You can try moving yourself. You see? Can you see? The end keeps on moving. The end keeps on moving along with my magnet. Can you see that? Same goes with the S. The S also keeps on moving because it is the south. Now that you have already done the S, the north and the south, N and S, just now you try on the compass, right? Now we are going to do another thing. The levitation. What is levitation? You can see it as actually like magic it will float in your hair. How are we going to do that? Okay, this one, I want you to take it, this out, put it out, okay, put it one side. We don't want this one. And you take this one. You take this one, what you do is, you put the, the fat one, you put here. Okay, you put here. Ah, make it like a pole with it. So, in your kit, you have extra magnets, right? Extra magnets, right? So, you pull out a piece, you can also see it's actually blue and red. Blue and red, right? Red on this side, blue on this side, right? 
Okay, let's do an experiment. First, let us put all the red ones together. So you put first one, right? And then you still put the uh, put the red and the blue together. You remember red and blue, if together, they will stick, right? So if you put together, it sticks. And then you put red and then you put blue together, it sticks, right? You see, it sticks. Now, what happens if you put red and blue? You don't want to put red and blue. You put red and red. Let's see what will happen. You see, it will float like magic. First, let's put red. And then, you take the second magnet, like this. And then, you put down. Means the blue is up. The red is down. You make sure the red and the red. You want to kiss the red and the red. Okay? You put down. Huh? Ta da! Wow! Did it stick? It did not stick, right? And then, let's put another one. So now, this is blue and this is red. So you don't put blue and red together. Blue and red, it will kiss. Now, it will stick to each other. Now you don't want. You want blue and blue together. You want blue and blue partner. So I put blue and blue together and ta-da! Wow! Did you see it's like magic? Did you see? Can you see that it's like magic? That it will not it will not stick on each other. Can you see that? Now why do you think it's like that? Because, okay, remember I told you that the north and the south, they attract to each other. But if you have north and north or south and south together, they do not attract. And then what happens? So it becomes that they do not stick. So it looks like they are actually hanging. Without string, without gum, you don't need to gum, you don't need the string to pull it. It will hang by itself. It will levitate by itself, right? Okay, so you can try it again. You can try again, pull it up. Okay, you can try again. So I'm just gonna try one more time. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the blue first. And then I'm gonna put, don't put the blue and the red together. Remember, blue, red, they kiss. We don't want. We want blue and blue. You put blue and blue, what happened? Ta da! No matter how much you try to force now, I want to kiss it also. They don't want to kiss. Right? So, next, you, this is because the top is red, so you don't put the blue. If you put blue and red, they will kiss. So, you put red and red. You try to kiss the red and red, you see what happened. Ta da! They do not kiss as well because and you try to push everything down. I want them to kiss also. Charang, they don't kiss also. Right? So why is this happen? Remember the north and the south, they do not attract. It only attract, I'm uh, sorry, the north and north do not attract, south and south do not attract. They only attract if it's the north and south, which means different color. So if I put like that, I turn, see, they will kiss already right okay so this is the magnet so you can try and play by yourself you can put a few more magnets if you have magnets ask mommy to put a few more and you can see it goes higher and higher okay so this is the levitation now that we are done with this we will look at what are the other things that magnets will attract remember magnets only attract to metal things so metal things that, uh, such as what are the things that are metal that it will attract? So let's take a look. Okay, I have another magnet here. Okay, you can use the same magnet, but I have another magnet here. So let us look at first. This is a stone. A stone. So I'm just gonna put here and I'm gonna see. Oh, this does not stick at all. So this is not a magnet. This is not a made from metal. So you put one side, and I'm going to take eraser. Oh, this doesn't stick as well. Okay, why? Because this is also not a, a metal. So you put one side. Now, I'm going to take a paper clip. Let's see. Chang! Wow, like, ma like magic. So you see, this is made from metal. That's why it sticks to the magnet very well. Next, we have, I'm going to take some pins and stick. 
while also stick to the magnet very well so you know this part is made from metal and then let's look at the sponge sponge will not stick no matter what because it is not made from metal and okay let me put a few pins together okay you see what it will happen now huh? shoot wow look at the power of the magnet it actually sticks a few at once. If your magnet is powerful, it can stick to many metal pieces at once. Okay, and the last one, I'm going to show you some pins. Okay, some pins. Okay, these are some pins. Of course, you don't play with this at home, yeah, it's very sharp. But these pins are made from metal, so I want you to see what it does. So all I have to do is just put the magnet very near here. Chang! Ha! Here. Can you see how many pins that it's stuck on the magnet? So many, right? Ah, you can play with it as well, but you don't use pins. You can use paper clip, okay? Pins are dangerous. You use paper clip. So these are. So now from here, you know that these pins are also made from metal. That's why it sticks. Okay, so I hope everyone has enjoyed today's magnetic. Uh, Magnet, uh, lesson on magnetic pol polarity. Have fun playing with your steam kit. You can show me other things that you can, you can try at home. You can take a picture, you can show me, or you can have fun playing with your brother and sister. Okay, I hope everybody enjoyed today's lesson. I will see you next week. Bye!